if matter antimatter annihilation produces pure energy can it be a viable energy source in the future theoretically yes it could be a very good very powerful and very efficient energy source it would have uh, no pollution it would just produce pure energy the so yes theoretically hypothetically it is a very viable energy source in the future a very small amount of uh, matter antimatter could uh, give us a very large amount of energy a 1 rupee coin of matter and a 1 rupee coin of antimatter if they annihilate together they could produce an explosion far larger than the the hiroshima atomic blast so that's the kind of energy you have in such such small uh, in such small amounts of matter and antimatter so it can be a very useful and very uh, very powerful source of energy in the future the problem is that we first of all don't have any means of of producing any significant quantities of antimatter right the little antimatter we, pro we produce is mostly done in uh, particle accelerators and colliders and we don't have any proper way of storing it because it is so hard to store. The moment it interacts with anything, any ordinary matter, it essentially explodes and gives out photons and gamma rays and, and X-rays. So that is the thing. So we have to keep it in a pure vacuum, in a perfect vacuum. And a perfect vacuum doesn't even exist in interstellar space. So it is very hard to bring such a technology into fruition, even though it is theoretically very much possible so it is it, it is something that's very challenging and i don't see it happening in the next 100 years at least but who knows let's see so it's a, it is potentially a great form of energy great source of energy but as of now we are nowhere near achieving uh, even the first baby steps in the direction